Hello folks, I hope you're all doing very well and as we fly over Newcastle, looking very nice indeed with the photogrammetry and points of interest, I thought I'd do a quick update video since there is a new update to DLSS 4.5 and the new file is now 310.5.2 and in this video, this very quick video, I'm going to show you how to install it the easy way in my opinion and give you some of my thoughts on the presets now that I've been testing it for a few days. So the best way that I find to grab the new file and interject it into the sim is by using the DLSS Swapper. You can use the NVIDIA app. I just personally prefer using the DLSS Swapper because I find it more convenient. And the best way, as you can see on the screen here, is firstly is to make sure you've got the 310.5.2 driver. Now if you can't see it, go to your library refresh the app and download it there it should come up in the top section there where it says DLSS you can also do that for the frame generation as well then go to your games and in this case it's a sim not a game careful Steve I'll be shot at dawn for saying that uh, you see there just basically it's just a simple case of swapping the file over and selecting your presets now at the moment I am running preset M but I am using a 50 series card. This is the important thing I need to let you know, okay? Now the important thing here is understanding what preset is best for your card. If you are running an RTX 20 series or 30 series cards, then actually running DLSS 4.5 can give you a detrimental impact to your performance. It might run worse. That is due to uh, the 20 and 30 series cards not having this certain um, hardware acceleration called FP8 and it's native to 40 and 50 series cards but not 30 series cards due to the different processor. So I would recommend folks if you're running a 20 or 30 series card use preset J or K and you can use that with the latest 4.5 driver as well. You don't have to downgrade it. You can still use preset K and J um, but definitely stay clear from preset L and M because you will actually find you'll get worse performance. That's really important something I've learned recently. But if you are running a 40s or 50 series graphics card, then feel free to use preset L or M. I find M to be the best one for me um, because you do get a nice amount of clarity but also get a lot less ghosting. So that's something that unfortunately the less ghosting is something that will be applicable to preset L and M. If you want to see what uh, version of DLSS 4.5 you're running to make sure that it has actually worked, go to your settings in the DLSS swapper and you can see there that's where you need to change, uh, enable that and you'll get a little dialogue at the bottom of your screen telling you what version of DLSS 4.5 you're running. Now there is a bit more to this new driver and that is the new 310.5.2 supposedly auto selects the best preset based upon your uh, settings so if you're running quality or ultra performance mode i'm not sure if it's clever enough to know your gpu though so ideally i would recommend still uh, manually selecting your preset using the dlss swapper utility really important information that folks so let's just recap that there is now a new driver, 310.5.2. You can download it in the DLSS Swapper and swap it over. Very easy to use. Then if you're running a 20 or 30s series graphics card, I would recommend keeping to preset J or K. And if you've got a uh, 40s or 50 series card, then feel free to try L and M, which does give you a lot better ghosting. The later series uh, NVIDIA GPUs benefit the best from 4.5 because the lack of ghosting is phenomenal and in fact I would recommend further to that to make sure that your frame timing is also at a decent level because if you're bottlenecking your CPU and your frame timing is jumping all over place then that will affect the way that DLSS 4.5 can perform at its optimum level and the result is pretty amazing actually as you can see here, 
This is DLSS 4.5 running on a RTX 5090 in this case. And it just looks so good. Hardly any ghosting whatsoever. And for this type of flying, it is absolutely the best way to go. Now bear in mind that 4.5 is heavier on the AI workload. And I think that's one of the reasons why ideally it works best with a 40 and 50 series graphics card. Um, so keep that in mind. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, folks. How is DSS 4.5 running for you? I personally prefer using the Swapper, but you can use the NVIDIA app as well. Um, I just find that the NVIDIA app has more of a... Um, what's the word? It just It's more resource intensive, especially if you leave it open compared to the DLSS Swapper. All right, that will do for this video. Thanks for watching, folks. Let me know in the comments below how you're getting on. I'll see you again very soon. Take care. And bye for now.